श्री कृष्ण दास कविराज की जय चैतन्य चरितामृत की जय श्री शास्त्रकम की जय चेतो दर्पणमाजनम भव महादवानी निरवापनम श्रेय कैरव चंद्रिका वितरनम विद्यावधु जीवनम आनंदाबुधिवर्धन प्रतिपद पूर्णाश्वादन सर्वात्मस्नपन परम विजयते श्री कृष्ण संकर्तन नाम कारी बहुदा निज सर्वशक्ति त्रापिता नियमित स्मरणे न काल एकदृशी तव कृपा भगवान्मापी दुर्दैव निदृश मिहाजनी नानूराग श्रीनाद पी सुनिचे न तरोरपी सहिष्णुन अमानी न मानदेन कीर्तनीय सदा हरि न धनम न जनम न सुंदरी कविता वा जगदीश कामये मम जन्मनी जन्मनी स्वरे भवता भक्ति रु की तयि अयि नंद तनुज किंकर पति विषमे भवाबुद कृपया तव पाद पंकज स्थित धूली सदृश विचित नयन गलतशुधारया वदन गुद्धया गिरा कुलकैर्चित वपू कदा तव नाम ग्रहणे भविष्यति युगात निमेशन चक्षुषा प्रवृषा शून्यात जगत्सर्व गोविंद विरहे न मे आश्लिष्य वादरता पीनस्तु मदर्शना मर महता करो यथा तथा वा विदधातुल मत्नाथ सर प्रभुरशिषाष्टकश्लोक ये पद शुने कृष्ण प्रेम भक्ति तार वारे दीने दीने हे कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण दास कविराज की जय शापा की जय श्री गुरु महाराज की जय um riyansh you can read the translation yeah yes prabhuji translation 1 glory to the shri krishna sankirtana which cleanses the heart of all dust accumulated for years and extinguishes the fire of conditional life her repeated birth and death the sankirtana movement is the prime benediction of for humanity at large because it spreads the rays of the benediction one rays of the rays of the benediction one it is the life of all transcendental knowledge it increases the ocean of all if 
of resonant bliss and it enables us to fully taste the nectar for which we are always anxious to. Oh my Lord, your holy name alone can render all benediction to living beings and thus you have hundreds and millions of names like Krishna and Govinda. In these transcendental notes, you have invested all your transcendental energies. There are not even hard and fast rules for chanting these names. Oh my Lord, out of kindness you enable us to e easily approach you by your holy names. But I'm, all, I'm so unfortunate that I, can, I have no attraction for them. One should chant the holy name of the Lord in a humble state of mind, thinking oneself lower than the straw industry. One should be more tolerant than the tree, devoid of all sense of false prestige, and should be ready to offer all respect to others. In such a state of mind, one can chant the holy name of Lord Consciously. Oh, Almighty Lord, I have no desire to accumulate wealth nor do I desire beautiful women or I do I don't I do I want any number of followers. I only want your causeless devotional service birth after birth. O son of Maharaja Allah Krishna, you are eternal servitor. Yet somehow or other I have fallen to into the ocean of birth and death. Please pick me pick me up from this ocean of death and place me as a, one of the atoms at your lotus feet. Oh my Lord, when will my eyes be decorated with tears of love flowing constantly when when will I, my voice choke up and when will the hairs of my body stand on the end at the recitation of your name? Oh, Govinda, from your separations, I am considering a moment to be like 12 years or more. Tears are flowing from my eyes are like torrents of rain, and I am falling and feeling all vacant in the world in your absence. I know no one but Krishna as my Lord, and he shall remain so even if he handles me roughly by his embrace or makes me brokenhearted by not being present before me. He is completely free to do anything and everything, for he is always my worshipable Lord unconditionally. If anyone recites or hears these eight verses of instruction by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, his ecstatic love and devotion for Krishna increase increases day by day. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Very good. Thank you so much for reading that so quickly. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu instructed his disciples to write books on the science of Krishna, a task which his followers have continued to carry out down to the present day. Started with the six Goswamis and uh, right through to Prabhupada and beyond. The elaborations and expositions on the philosophy taught by Lord Chaitanya are, in fact, the most voluminous and uh, exacting and consistent due to the system of civic succession. Although Ch Lord Chaitanya was widely renowned as a scholar in his youth, one of the, his famous doctrines he left behind was the Shikshastaka, which is what we read just now. These eight verses clearly reveal his mission and percepts. These supremely valuable verses are translated herein. The Chaitanya Charitamrit had these prayers in here in chapter 20 of Antalila. The verses are shown in the official name page of this field of this page. The gaps between the verses are the purports by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So verses one through eight are the actual Shishtastika verses in Sanskrit. Uh, so this is these prayers are what Lord Chaitanya left, um, and these are really contain the absolute essence of Krishna consciousness, God consciousness, and um, just remembering these prayers actually can connect us with Lord Chaitanya and Radha Krishna. Uh, Karuna, anything you'd like to share? Yeah. Uh, so we should follow the uh, the instructions of mm -hmm. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and recite these every day and mm -hmm. really meditate on each and every words because 
it gives so much so many instructions and in how we should really absorb be absorbed in devotional service so very wonderful yeah no thank you so much absolutely beautiful prayers so this is um Jeto Dabra Majram, strong name, official name. Wow. He's the Shikshastakam and the author. Krishna Askariraj, but Chaitanya Mahaprabhu actually. And the book that's it, it is in is Chaitanya Chaitamat. So, um, Lord Chaitanya Ki, Jai, Radha Krishna Bhagavan Ki. Jai.